Hey guys, this is SF and welcome to Monster of the Week. This week it is, of course, Miss Gabby. I haven't done one for her, so I'll be doing both Evolution and Ascension. And this is the Evolve form, so no damage wall. And then two Elemental Slayers, Light and Dark. Strike Shot is basically an all null, uh, all null Strike Shot, so doesn't know every everything, but damage walls. Uh, gravity Bears, Mines, and Warps, and then she becomes a Pierce Monster off that. And then Bump Combo is a Blast type of Chain Lightning with over 200k. So let's do this. Uh, this is uh, Tiger, or Tiger, whatever how you like to call her. I think it's, well, Panzer, I guess, for Evolve form. So, Gabby was, or is, a New Year's exclusive, so that means that she is very, very strong. Uh, she is still strong in JP today, uh, one of the best out there, still the best I think. Uh, I don't know how if or how or if Pandora will outclass her, but the thing that she does is basically crazy and that is mob clearing. Uh, her chain lightning is non-elemental, so basically uh, even though she's a wood type, uh, wood element, uh, her chain lightning does deal full 200k damage. Unlike some, uh, some laser bump combos and stuff like that, that can only do, uh, that gets modified off of whether it's a different a build, uh, different element. Especially for these types of dungeons. Uh, for instance, if uh, for Kushina Zero, her trident laser will deal less damage to this guy, although it does more damage to the boss. It, there's not that much consistency, whereas Gab's, uh, Gabby's Chain Lightning is all about consistency and all about that Chain Lightning. For people that don't really know about Chain Lightning, so the power is 200, over 200, and that is on the first target it hits. It is the closest, is the closest, uh, closest enemy, and it's the distance between the middle of the hitbox and Gabby's middle. So there's probably some times where Gabby's near a boss but it goes to a mob. That's because it is not uh, the distance to the mob is actually closer than to the uh, to the boss which is in the middle. And this is where you see some bad points about Gabby. Although her chain lightning is very strong, there is a limited range into it. So you really got to so you really got to be near the mobs that you want, and also chain lightning does send through to other mobs, but it does have a limited distance. So as you can see there, it only reached the bomb guy, and didn't reach the bottom uh, mini boss because the dis distance was too much. And then damage does decrease between mobs. So the first mob will deal full 200, uh, 200,000 damage, but then the next one will deal less, and then the next one will deal less, and then, and also chain lightning will only proc once off an enemy. So this is where chain lightning really comes into play, and that is when there's drones. So the thing about chain lightning is that uh, it will cross through weak points if the lightning does cross through them, and sadly the chain lightning did not cross through this guy and into the drone so so of course it will deal extra damage if it crosses through a weak point so let's try here boom okay it didn't really cross it only did 200k but the only way you can do that is if the direction oh shouldn't hit the damage wall is if the weak point is in a straight line between Gabby's chain lightning and the middle of the boss so you can't really aim for it <laughs> because the path is fixed and it's a straight line you cannot curve it or anything so sometimes it's not uh, it's not that great but you can still deal awesome damage and there is that chance of it dealing that much damage and sadly Gab is not in range, so sad, sad angel for Gabby. But even oh, it actually hit the drone. That's actually good. 
but now the drone's gone. Uh, not going to reach the boss. But in terms of dungeons, you can basically bring it to anything that has no damage walls on, and even some that are no gravity barriers. So, but mainly you'll be looking at Bisha Mountain. Uh, you can probably bring it to Yamato Takedo if you really want to. Uh, I wouldn't recommend fire dungeons, but uh, her damage is non elemental, so you can, as long as she doesn't take in that much damage or the dungeon itself doesn't do that much damage, kind of like um, Asha, as long as you avoid avoid her attacks with Asha, especially the shotgun, uh, you can you can take the volatile blast because it's non elemental, but even so, uh, I wouldn't recommend it, if, especially if you uh, screw up. And the other bad thing about about Gabby is that her damage is not really meant for a single target. So if it's on directly to the boss, uh, she's not really good for that. Unless there are drones in between, which can proc multiple times onto the boss, because uh, the drone is actually on top of a hitbox, on top of the weak spot, and weak spot does count as damage to the boss there and I should not strike shot chain bound just in case I might kill it because I want to use gaps strike shot and let's go across although it probably won't do that much damage and it's very good especially when she is ability locked as well uh, Wan Shao is a good dungeon for her because although she gets ability locked, you can just strike shot and then you can bypass the. You can not take any damage from the damage walls. So, the thing about Gabby, the really strong points is, you know, mob clear from Chain Lightning. Uh, she has two elemental slayers, so any light or dark dungeon, she can still be better than other light and dark monsters. And then. Of course, she'll be really OP in water dungeons because that's her natural element. But bad things is her chain lightning is very limited in in distance and not very good for a single target, for like a boss damage, and she only has one null. Uh, although the one null does get make up for the strike shot, uh, it's nice to deal some damage on her turn besides like just positioning and stuff like that. But she is a very good monster and good luck and congratulations to whoever got it. I didn't get it. I didn't get her. I didn't even get her in, in JP either. But uh, she'll be very useful for a lot of dungeons to come. But that's pretty much it for me. I hope you guys like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.